Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How do you turn on or turn off a tooltip with a button? Now, before I start with this, I want to talk about something for just about a moment and then we'll start with the video. Hang in tight and we'll get started. All right, quick interruption in the video. Later this month, I am actually going to be doing a live training session on Power BI. And we're going to be focusing on the hard parts of Power BI. We're going to be focusing on Power Query, Data Modeling, and DAX. If you've recently started with Power BI and you have struggled to learn Data Modeling, Power Query, and DAX in a structured way, and you need my help, you've watched the videos, you've liked the way that I teach, and you'd like to enroll for the session, this is going to be a great learning opportunity. Note that this is going to be a live training session. And if you're the type of person who would like to sit along with the trainer and you'd like to get your doubts sorted, um, you know, get your doubts clarified as you move along in the training, get some assignments right after the training session, it's going to be a phenomenal learning opportunity. Now, just two more things. There is definitely going to be a last date for the training because we are starting later this month. So check that out. And also, uh, there are 15 seats available and of which five seats have been filled up. So in case you want a spot for yourself, do not wait and just fix up a spot for yourself. That's all about it. And uh, we'll just get started with this video. All right, what do I mean by turning on or turning off the tooltip? So I'm in this Power BI model that I created just a few months ago. This model helps anybody to track recruitment data very effectively. It has a lot of analysis here. Now, in this particular dashboard, I created a few tooltips that were just creating a little bit of uh, interruption while I was working with the dashboard. And I thought if I could just find a way to turn or, or turn off the tooltips with a button, that is going to be immensely helpful. Please take a look. Here I have a table here at the bottom and at the table when I hover my mouse on top of any particular metric, I get to see some additional details. So I get to see that what business is that in, uh, what department, what position and several things like that. Now this is good, although it looks pretty good, but the problem is while I'm reading the particular table, it creates a little interruption that I'm not able to take a look at the previous number right here. And it doesn't really look that good, especially while you're in the flow of reading the information of the table. Now. I found that although the tooltip is helpful, but could we find a way to turn off the tooltip with a button? So take a look what I created. Here on the left hand side, I have a toggle button, which is where I can turn off the tooltip. So if I just maybe click on that, turn off the tooltip. Now the tooltips are off and I don't get any tooltips. You can see that I'm not getting any tooltips. If I wanna turn back it on again, I can actually click back on the button once again and the tooltips are now turned on. In this particular video, I'll show you that how did I do that? It's a mix of uh, smart, bookmarking and connecting of the buttons and I've created another setup of Power BI file and I'll take you there and show you how this is actually set up. All right, I'm here in Power BI and that's where I have removed all the fluff of the model that I was showing to you and just kept the bare essentials to be able to explain you that how do we turn on or turn off the tooltips right here. Now what I have done is um, I have two tables here and these are exactly the same tables. There is no difference the size the height, the width, the columnar uh, width, everything is the same of the two tables. Now, the difference between these two tables is that in the first table, the tooltips are off and you can see that there are no tooltips right here. In the second table, the tooltips are on. And we also have created two buttons right here, which is turn on and turn off button. Again, the size, the width, and everything of the button is absolutely the same. If you don't already know how do you create a button, you can actually go over to the insert tab. We have something like a button right here and I'm just gonna create a blank button and then take a few steps to format the button. One is going to be this way and the other one is going to be this way. Now, I have purposefully colored the turn on button as green because I would like to initiate the turning on of that particular button and hence I have colored that green and turn off is actually uh, this particular color. Anyways, now once we have the same sized buttons and the same sized tables, let's just start to work with this particular technique. Now, if you don't, for any particular reason, don't know what a tooltip is and how do you create a custom tooltip like this, you can see that we have a little pop-up that shows several other elements of the report that are being shown up right here. If you don't know how to do this, I will suggest that you watch another video from Reed Havens from Haven Consulting. He has done a phenomenal video on creating these custom tooltips and you can learn the custom tooltip creation process from there. Come back on this video and then learn the toggling on or off technique. Anyways, so once we have this particular thing set up, all that we need to do is play around with bookmarks to be able to turn on or turn off the tooltips. So what I have done is this particular table, which has the tooltips off, there are no tooltips, is placed against the turn on button. 
and this particular table which has the tooltips on is placed against the turn off button simple reason once i will click on turn off this table is going to show up once i click on turn on this table is going to show up now let's just create the views what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to select uh, these particular two visuals and i will hide them so let's just create two bookmarks i'm just going to go to the view tab in the view tab i'm just going to go over to bookmarks and let's just do create two bookmarks I will also enable my selection pane so that I can hide and you know make things visible on the screen. So the, these two things which are um, the turn on, I will hide them for the moment. So here is the selection pane right here and here is the matrix and I'm just going to hide that. Here is the button and I'm just going to hide that. Now this is one view which is where the tooltips are turned on. So once you clicked on that button, but that just disappeared for the moment. You clicked on that button and you landed up in this particular table which is where you have the tooltips on and only this table is, is available to you and you have the option to turn it off now this is one view that i'd like to capture now once i have hidden those two things i'm just going to select both of these not really select i'm just going to click on the add bookmarks and just add it as a bookmark let's just call this bookmark as on right because this is the scenario where the tooltips are on now let's just create another scenario so let's just kind of bring them back so i'm just going to unhide and unhide them once again and select these two and we, let's just take a look at which of these are there so this is the button which is turned off and hide this one as well so now these two are hidden and this particular view where the tooltips are off is going to be marked as another bookmark which is going to be labeled as off take a look there are no bookmarks but we do have a button to turn them on again and where that particular table is going to show up so let's just capture the screen and click on add and call this as particular thing as uh, off right and press enter now that we have the two buttons let's just go link these two buttons to the two scenarios or bookmarks that we have created so i'm just going to maybe appear these two buttons so cancel the hide can cancel the hide right here and let's just click on this particular button and i'm just going to go over to the format button option right here i'm going to go over to the actions right here in the actions i'm going to say that it's going to be linked to a bookmark and this is going to be linked to turn on right and it uh, triggers this particular thing and this particular button is going to be linked to turn off again a bookmark and let's just see how this works now so i'm just going to uh, collapse everything now and let's just take a look at the workings of this particular thing so let's just control click on turn on and you, you can see that the bookmarks are turned on right this is all good and if i click on turn off you can see that the bottom two matrix in the button disappears and you can see that the tooltips are turned off now now once you uh, create this particular setup if you compare this with the visual that i showed you earlier i had a single matrix now the thing that i did was i smartly kept the matrix on top of one another so that you don't see two pictures it doesn't really see moving from one side and then appearing on the other side and you just see one singular picture the way to do that is very very simple you just kind of overlap that on one on top of the other so what do i do i go over to the selection once again and make both of them appear so appear and appear for now all right and i'm just going to select this particular table i'm just going to select this particular table now because the size of the two tables is absolutely the same it's just going to work absolutely fine so i select the two tables i'm just going to go over to the format tab and hit the align and i'm just going to say align to the middle and just like overlap on one on top of the other the same thing i'm going to do to the buttons as well so select the two buttons i'm just going to go to, over to the format tab align and align to the middle and they get aligned to the middle now watch this particular magic so if i maybe now click on turn on you can see that the bookmarks are turned on right these are all working well and if i click on turn off you can see that the bookmarks are now turned off now because these two matrix and the buttons are kept on top of one another it doesn't really feel that you're actually flipping the buttons from one position to the other they just kind of appear so seamless that it doesn't really look that weird right all right, that was a little trick on turning on and turning off the tooltips. And uh, if you have any questions around this, please feel free to put down a comment and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a quick shout about the online uh, course that I'm doing uh, later this month, which is going to be a live session on Power BI, tackling three important elements of Power BI, Power Query, data shipping, uh, data modeling, and finally DAX. If you've struggled with Power BI for quite a while, or if you've recently started with Power BI, 
and DAX and data modeling and Power Query seem insurmountable, then I will highly recommend that you take a look at that particular live training. It's going to be highly beneficial. If you would want, you can also check out my online courses on Power Query and on DAX. Those are also pretty awesome. Those are also going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.